guys, today we're going to be talking about how we replaced our bathtubs by ourselves. It may not be quote unquote the correct way to do it, but it is how we did it. First, we started with taking the doors off, only because we have sliding doors because we're extra. We don't have regular curtains, so that just added an extra, you know, hour to changing out the tub. The doors were sealed on by caulking, so we had to cut open all the caulking and basically wedge it off because it was really stuck on there. I do not know what that is still to this day. The next step is to take off the plastic on the sides if you have it. We personally have it because tiles take up to a few days to completely stick on and we didn't want to be that stinky so we just go straight for the plastic. Next, we're taking the faucet out. That's the stopper he's pulling out right there. You want to make sure that you pull the drain out before you start pulling off that side of the wall. Next, we took the tiles out. And we made sure to get all the rotten parts out as well. You have to remove the tiles to get the tub out. We took out pieces of the drywall that was there. Then we went under the house. And under there we disconnect the tub drain and the overflow pipes. As you can see, it's not always easy. Then it was our bright idea to cut this iron tub in half to get it out. This is all so we don't have to take out the whole shower wall. Extra.
Then we brought in the new tub with extra help, of course, but not me. <laughs> Then we put in little side pieces to make sure that we didn't push the tub too far back. And of course we want to make sure that the tub is sitting leveled. Once it's finally in, we make sure that it is drilled into place. Then we can take the side parts out. Next, we're cutting out the drywall to replace the one that we took out. We also put in tile over the drywall. I just missed it because I was out eating. Next, we go ahead and try to get it in there and we seal it shut with some more screws. Next, we can put in the wall with the caulking. Now we're going to be putting in the tub drain and overflow. We're going to get that prepped together. Do not ask me which is which because I do not know. That's why we have directions. That right there is called plumber putty and we put that on there to seal it. You want to get a helper to help you connect the top and bottom. Next, we cut out the holes in the plastic part to go back onto the walls. Right there, we are soldering the drain so it fits. And then you want to seal the sides with the caulking. That right there, we're measuring the door to make sure it's back in the right place before we drill it back in. Opening back together the drain and faucet. Now we're placing our doors back in and sealing it.
once the cocon is dried, we can go ahead and take off the spring clamps holding them. Next, we put in our towel racks. And now the tub is finished. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that you guys can try this at home just kidding it's not an easy task at all i i cut out all the hard parts so be expecting a second video later on this week of all the struggles that we had during this and let me tell you changing our tub is not the easiest but it did save a lot of money